Hello and welcome back to Black Bear Forge. It's been a little while since we've had one of these vlog style videos and something came in the mail today that I'm curious to open. So I thought we would do a little bit of mail, talk about where we're going, what kind of progress has been made since the last time we had one of these little vlog videos. So this package comes from Stephen in New York, not New York City, New York State. Plunk, sounds heavy. Ah, this is a filing vise. Looks like it's made out of brass. That's a nice filing vise. I assume cast, perhaps? Is there a note? There is a note. John, I enjoy your YouTube channel. Watching the filing vise videos, I couldn't help thinking that something with such exacting geometry and potential for repeat work was better suited to casting. Enclosed is my interpretation of your favored style in free machining brass. If anyone wants to duplicate or modify the design, I give them complete freedom to do so. So I'll try and get some good close-ups of Stephen's filing vise. That's a very nice looking little filing vise there. It's got an adjustable back end on it here so you can make it fit wider or thinner material it looks like. I think we should give it a try. I just happen to have this ladle that I'm working on from one of the other videos. Perhaps that video's been finished and you've seen the finished project, and perhaps this is a preview. It's hard to say which. And that looks like it works quite nice. Allows me good freedom to get all the way around here to file. What I use these for mostly, though, is working on little hinge parts. And of course it works wonderfully for that. So that's a very good practical filing vise. So thank you again, Stephen. This will get a lot of use here in the shop. And I'll hang it right up here on the wall with the other two filing vices, and we'll be able to pick and choose when we need a filing vise. Stick around to the end of the video, and I'll have the close-ups of this at the very end of the video. Now, that's all the mail I have to open today, but if you are interested in sending something, you've got something you want to share with the rest of the group there, you want people to see what you've been working on, I'd be happy to present that for you. Just send it to the post office box that is down there in the description and we'll open that here on the channel and people can take a look at it. If you're sending a product that you hope I will do some kind of a review on, make sure it's a good product because I only do fair and honest reviews. I'm not gonna overly inflate somebody's product just because they sent me one for free. Anyways, what else are we up to? Like I said, here's a project we've been working on and perhaps this video has aired. I'm not sure what order these are going through. I'm still trying to do videos ahead several weeks so that at some point I can take a vacation. So I'm not sure where in line this video is and where this video is. Right now it's towards the end of May and you're probably seeing this video in June and hopefully this one posted just a day or two ago. So you've been able to look at this ladle. And again, if you wanted to see the finished ladle, it's the last 30 seconds, which is a good thing to bring up. Started putting the close-ups of the finished project in the very last 30 seconds of the video so you have to wait till after my usual sign off of get out to your shop, be safe, wear your safety glasses before you see that. And that way people are encouraged to stick around for the last 30 seconds. And I've tried to shorten that entire ending so you're not adding extra time to the video just to see this. For that matter, I'm really trying to streamline the videos here and there anyways. It's so easy to do 30, 45 minute videos. I know I talk too much. I'm already doing it in this video. So I am trying to edit the videos down where I can, not show so many repetitive steps, not talk about the projects any more than I really feel I need to. And I have tried to shorten that ending down so that you can still see the finished project and not have to watch an overly long video to do so. Now, like I mentioned, I'm trying to work videos ahead. I still have plenty of family obligations, plenty of work to do around the property, hoping to take a vacation at some point this year. 
blacksmithing conference later this summer, demos here in the shop, all sorts of stuff that I've got to get ready for. So I'm still making six to seven videos a week, but I'm down to actually publishing only three videos a week. That way the other videos go into a bank and they will be available when I'm not available to make videos. So instead of doing five videos this week and next week I go to a blacksmithing conference, which isn't actually next week, so don't uh, show up at the conference a month early. But that way I can continue to have these videos published, I can schedule them, and if I'm gone, if I'm out of town for a week or two weeks on a vacation, there should still be videos to watch, and I can still read and answer comments on my trusty cell phone. Things are still growing, the support from you folks out there, the viewers that really make all of this possible is still just absolutely phenomenal. Not only do people occasionally send something to make life in the shop a little bit easier, but everybody that simply watches the videos, you take time out of your day, listening to me talk about things that may or may not be important to you, but in some way they might be important to the channel, and I think it's all stuff that is good to get out there. But the fact that you are taking the time to watch, that's great support. By the time you see this video, we will probably have over 70,000 subscribers. It wasn't that long ago that we hit the 50,000 mark. By the end of the year, I think we will hit that 100,000 subscriber mark, and that is a big milestone. And I want to thank each and every one of you who's making all of that possible. I'm starting to look into having sponsored videos. And what that really means is simply that at some point I will mention a product from a sponsor. So, something like today's video is sponsored by Bob's Better Blacksmithing. Visit Bob's for better blacksmithing bits and bobs. Something like that. And if I start doing more and more of those, those probably will be a little bit better income than the ad revenue. And I'll probably leave out some of the ads on the videos that are sponsored. So if you start hearing sponsorships from companies that have decided to pay me to make a video and mention their name, that's what that's all about. If those same companies want me to review their product, they want to send something, they want me to look at it, they want me to present it to you, it has to be a product that I'm glad to have here in the shop. If it's a product that I'm going to throw away as soon as the video is over, and I will let that person know that I simply can't present their product on my videos, and I will send it back or throw it out for them or whatever they want to do with it. But rest assured, I'm not going to just present anything and everything just for the sake of getting some sponsorships on the channel. I'm going to try and be picky, and that's why so far I have very few sponsors for the channel, but I suspect that will grow over time. Now what do we have to look forward to as far as videos go? Well, we've been doing the Hook of the Week series every Sunday, and I'm going to continue to do that until that bucket is empty or until people are tired of watching hook videos. If before the bucket is empty we are down to 10 people watching the hook of the week videos, I probably won't finish emptying the bucket because clearly nobody's worried about it anymore. But if we get to the end of the bucket, we do the last hook and there's 10,000 people watching that video, we'll go get another bucket and we'll keep going. It's a lot of fun to challenge yourself making things like that, so I'm enjoying doing it. Some of the hooks are a little bit weird, admittedly, but that's okay. That's all part of the fun of it. Since I'm doing three videos a week, I'm also trying to upload a video every Wednesday, and that's when videos like this, the vlog videos, the videos talking about a specific tool or a technique or an idea, something like that, that may not have as much active forge work going on, and it will be on Wednesdays, and on Fridays I will try to have a more involved foraging project. That's when, so it'll be a Friday when this ladle video shows, for instance. And I have a customer order for a wrapped eye felling axe, and that will be presented as a video on a Friday, or maybe two Fridays if it takes more than one video to get it done. So for now, probably for the summer, that's my plan. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday videos. It seems like Mondays nobody really watches anyway, so Monday and Tuesdays are good days for me to make videos so that I can get them ready to publish on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I do hope that all makes sense, or at least some of it makes sense. I want to thank you for stopping by, and as always, try to get out to your shop, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.